my day. Mm -hmm. My day started very early this morning. It ended very late last night because my family is in town. So, um, yeah, I went to work. Stood on my feet all day, trying to sell makeup to people that they really don't need, but I have to tell them that they need it. And then I came home. I commute all the way back to New Jersey, to Bayonne, to this tiny little place. Um, and that's about it. My name is Jessica Muller. I am 26 years old, almost, in June. Let's not jump the gun. Um, and I have been doing makeup since I was 18. So quite a few years. I've done beauty, I've done body painting, I've done prosthetics, I've done stuff for stage, stuff for not stage, film, everything. Prosthetics and, and special effects is definitely where I'd love to be. I uh, never did art. I never did anything in that realm. I guess I was always creative. I always like made stuff, but I never actually pursued it because I was the girl outside playing basketball and beating the boys. <laughs> so um, I guess that was more of who I was growing up. Um, and now I've sort of found myself in like this really weird world of like being consumed by makeup and skincare and like it's bombarded on you all the time and you have to look perfect and wear all black every day and like these things that are foreign to me so it's quite a different world. I've done a lot of competitions um, specifically in South Africa which I have to say Cape Town South Africa which is where I studied and lived for five years is such an artistic area, um, realm of the world, whatever you want to call it. Like there's, art just flows in that place and it brings so much out in you. I did two body painting competitions in Durban, South Africa that were amazing. Um, incorporating sea life and um, aquarium and things like that because that's where it was taking place. We took first and third in those two. Um, one for the frog and one for the lionfish man. My husband was my model for both. <laughs> so he's very, you know, cooperative. <laughs> I also did, I think, probably the most prestigious one that I did. And the one that I'm most proud of is I finished in the top eight for the entire country of South Africa um, doing an Elle magazine competition a few years back. Um, it was a beauty competition and it, it um, incorporated smoky eyes and nude looks and whatever was required. We had to do a runway show and everything. My picture made it to the magazine of Elle, so that's pretty awesome for anyone, I think. In the last 13 months, I have moved from the country I was living in, which was South Africa, um, met the man of my dreams and moved here with him. Came here on a whim, thinking, well, we're either going to make it or we're not. And we have, kind of. Now we're both working in New York City, which is what we wanted to be doing. And um, yeah, just really proud of ourselves. I mean, we've, we've really come a long way. It's hard to believe that in the last year, I mean, for nine months out of 13, Gareth didn't work. I was working three jobs. I worked in two spas, off and on, doing weddings and that whole market. Then also doing a part-time job working for Chanel in Lord & Taylor, which is selling cosmetics. And then um, an office job, which I probably had no idea what I was doing but somehow figured it out and running back and forth and training and not having cars and things like that but I bought my first car and even though it was so cheap two thousand dollars on a 1997 Nissan pickup truck it's mine my name is on it and I own it and I think that's like the biggest achievement It's been an eye-opening experience and I'm just looking forward to what the next thing could be because I'm, that's not the limit for me. The things you do to further your career.